Hey guys, this is Josiah here. Welcome to my week 13 NFL. Uh, the oh, gosh. Hey guys, this is Josiah here. Welcome to my week 13 NFL schedule predictions. I'm planning for the deal. It's gonna go with it. You can see I'm holding my camera. I usually set my phone up on the little nightstand thing if I had to move it. Um, so and that, that now it's now it's like there's like nothing I can stand the phone up on. So now I just gotta do this, which is annoying. But <laughs> I apologize. I gotta do this for now until I figure something out. Anyways, schedule prediction, starting off Broncos, the Texans. Give me the Texans here. Uh, both teams are have winning records. Who would have thought that? No one thought that either of these teams would have winning records. Especially not the Broncos. The Broncos were 1-5. and five. Now they're on a five-game win streak. And, hey, Broncos country, let's ride. But it's not going to ride here. CJ Stroud still looks insane. He looks he looks amazing. They got a bounce back after that loss to the Jags. Talk about the Texans. Missed it on a 58-yard field goal that was short. Ugh, that hurt. Uh, I know you're paying. I know you're paying. The Colts, bro. Good grief. All right, now we got the Chargers and the Patriots. Go ahead and give me the – not a tie. Whoa. Give me the the Chargers Chargers here. Um, yeah, the Patriots are dog crap. Uh, Chargers, they're also not good at all. They took a loss to the Ravens on Sunday Night Football this past week. Um, and I, I, They're like, what, 4-7 – they got it. They got to win games. Brandon Staley is just holding them back. It's a, this team is capable. It's just Brandon. It's just Brandon Staley. That's the only reason. It's just Brandon freaking Staley. He needs to be fired, bro. He needs to be fired ASAP. All right. Uh, where's my mouse at? There we go. Uh, Colts, t- uh, Titans. Give me the Colts. Colts are looking really good. They hold the seventh seed actually in the playoffs right now. They're six and five. They're looking good. Titans. Will Levis had one good game, and now it's just downhill. Um. All right, I'll skip that because that's Monday night. Dolphins, Commanders, give me the Dolphins here. Dolphins, I don't, really, I don't really need to explain that. Commanders are not that good. Dolphins are good. Now we got the Cardinals and the Steelers. Give me the Steelers. Steelers offense got, f- like, they outscored their opponent. They got, like, 400 total yards of offense for the first time since 2020. Their first game without Matt Canada, and already they're they're in business. I forgot I forgot the dude's name, the new offensive coordinator. I forgot his name. I apologize. So I don't know that. Uh, Falcons, Jets. Give me the Falcons. Jets. Uh, I mean, unless Aaron Rodgers maybe could miraculously play this week, I don't think that's going to happen. Then I think the Falcons are going to take because Tim Boyle, he's over here turning picks, or he's over here turning Hail Marys into pick sixes because that's not good. Browns, Rams, give me the, give me a Rams upset. Give me a Rams upset with that. Um, like the reason why I'm picking this, um, not because I'm salty that we lost to the Browns a couple weeks ago. No, that's. Like the Browns just look flat right now. Like the like Dorian Thompson Robinson, he's injured. He's probably won't play. It's either probably PJ Walker or Joe Flacco. Like Joe Flacco, I don't know. He might start this weekend or PJ Walker, but if he does, like, I it's not gonna be the same. <laughs> Why? Why'd you go to the freaking Browns? It's not gonna be the same. You're so good as a Raven. Come on, bro. Um, but still, I don't know if that's gonna save the Browns or not. It could be enough to win the game. We'll see. We'll see, though. Skip that because that's Sunday night. Here's tonight's game, Thursday night. Seahawks, Cowboys. Give me the Cowboys. Um, winning that one. Cowboys look. They're, 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 they look good. They look very, very dangerous right now. Um, they're beating teams, but they're beating, like, weakling teams. Like, the last team they lost to was the Eagles. They've lost to the Eagles. They got both race, both race by the 49ers. And the only team so far this season to lose to the Cardinals. So... I mean, it's not all pretty sunshine and whatnot for the Cowboys. They still got some work to do. Uh, but anyways, Lions, Saints, give me the Lions. They need to bounce back after last week's loss to the Packers. That was embarrassing. Uh, Saints, I just don't see nothing from them this season. Uh, Panthers, Bucks, give me the Bucks. That will officially eliminate the Panthers from playoff contention. Uh, the Bucks win. Uh, now we got the Niners and the Eagles. The Niners are going to take that one. The Eagles can clutch a play a spot, but they need like a lot of things to go their way. Uh, I don't, they first have to beat the Niners, which that's not going to be easy, and I don't think they're going to do it. Moving over here, Sunday Night Football, Chiefs, Packers, give me the Chiefs on that one. Mahomes, I mean Chiefs, come on, bro. Now Monday Night, Bengals, Jags, Bengals don't have Joe Burrow. He's out for the season, so give me the Jacksonville Jaguars beating the Bengals right there. So, yeah, that's going to be it from a Week 13 NFL schedule predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, hit the little tiny notification bell, and never miss any new videos like this one. As always, that was Clyde. I don't support that suggestion by me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye.